Good morning, one and all, from the research vessel Manta. We are currently in the northwest Gulf of Mexico. So my name is Mercer Brugler. I'm an associate professor of biology at New York City College of Technology. And with me, I have... I'm Marissa Nettle. I'm part of the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary research team. We're diving in the vicinity of the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. It's currently comprised of three locations, the East and West Flower Garden Bank and then Stetson Bank. And for leg three of this uh, three-week cruise, we've been exploring banks outside of the sanctuary. So we started in Parker, moved to Alderdice. Yesterday we were at Elbers, today at Geyer. And uh, our job here is to, to bring the general public into these waters where we are proposing to expand the sanctuary into. So uh, the banks we're in right now are not in the sanctuary, but they are in the proposed expansion site. So the goal of this leg number three is several fold. Our mission is to collect any new species of black corals. And black corals are so-called because the skeleton is black. The tissue on top of it, the living tissue, can be any, any number of colors. Uh, of those that we already know about, we're going to be analyzing their microbiome, the bacteria, viruses, fungi, and unicellular life that lives on them. Uh, we're also going to be targeting one particular species for a full genome and transcriptome because we currently don't have that information for any black coral. Uh, we're also looking uh, for sponges, and so far we found potentially quite a few new ones. Many people ask me, who cares? Why black corals? I think that's a phenomenal question. And uh, one of the things I like to tell people is they provide essential habitat, a place to live for a ton of uh, other organisms. Uh, a single colony was collected off the coast of California, and the researcher found almost 3,000 other individuals living on a single black coral. So I think that's a testament to how important these things might be in terms of providing homes or safety from predators for other organisms. So every time, literally every time we're deploying robots, we're finding new species and that's very exciting. It's finding all these new species. So we, we don't currently understand the diversity out there. And then if you think about the environment changing for any number of reasons, the amount of biodiversity or the amount of number of species in a given environment is very important to whether or not that environment, when inflicted with change, is going to survive. And so it's always a good idea to know how many species are in a given environment. Right now we've got 260 species of black corals that are known. There's probably maybe twice that number out there in terms of species that have yet to be identified. We feel very lucky coming out here and seeing all these incredible habitats and being able to share that with everyone back on shore and provide them with as much information as we can about these resources is very exciting and hopefully we'll get other people excited and engaged in the communities we have out here.